Hello friends, it's me. And today is finally Darman Monday once again. I mean, sometimes I want to do other things on Mondays. So it's kind of a mystery day now. Mystery Mondays. Today's video is about a teacher who kicks a mom out of school. Why would you do that? Let's watch. Oh, this one's based on a true story. Emmy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, hi, Mrs. Thompson. I'm just waiting for my ride. Sweetie, are you sure they're coming? Yeah, she's just running a little late. This was me in elementary school. I'd be waiting with my brother on the sidewalk. Sometimes we'd like walk halfway home before my parents came and picked us up. Like when we say they're coming, they come in. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait with you. She has her iPad. What more does she need? And this works out well because... I need a parent to sign your permission slip for tomorrow's field trip. Oh, there's my ride. Hi. I am so sorry I'm late. Things just got a little crazy. <laughs> so crazy. You just hit a trash can. Girl can barely drive. Just a little oopsie. You know, school got out over 20 minutes ago. Poor Emmy's been sitting here waiting all by herself. She ain't by herself. She got a perfectly good iPad in her hand, playing Roblox. She fine. That's not safe. Yeah, I know, and I, I'm so sorry. It just, I just, I got a fork late, and traffic was kind of hectic, but I got here as soon as I could. Not a very good way to start off the first day of school. If this happens again, I'll have to write it up. What do you mean you'll write it up? What are you gonna do, fail the child? Maybe give her an HOA violation? Make her take the bus? She's late to pick her up. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I, I completely understand. I promise it won't happen again. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I've been playing my game. I knew you were coming soon. Yeah, she's fine. Yeah. Ready to go? 20 Hold minutes on. ain't that long. I need a parent to sign this. It's a permission slip for tomorrow's aquarium visit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can sign it. Just let me get my pen and pen. Well, you're not going to sign it. A parent needs to. Yeah, I know. I'm Emmy's legal guardian. <laughs> okay, that's not possible. What are you, 18? There's no way you're her legal guardian. Actually, I'm 21. And I've been looking after Emmy for a while now. Okay, I don't understand. It's sort of a long story, but if you need any proof, I could definitely get you some documents. What is this? A child looking after a child? Show me her ID! I mean, I would have just thought it's her big sister. No, I think I need to speak to the school. What What was your name again? Quinn. Hmm. I know it's a weird situation. To say the least. It definitely concerns me how young you are, especially given the fact that you couldn't pick up Emmy on time. I don't think you're fit to be her guardian. I may be young, but my age doesn't define my abilities. And I think I do a pretty good job considering everything. What do you say? Yeah, Quinn's the best. I mean, you could afford to buy her an iPad. That ain't bad. As long as you can afford an iPad and some Robux, you are a fit parent. I'll be watching you, Quinn. All right. Let's go. We got a camera! I'm her legal guardian. That's it. End of discussion. It shouldn't have even went past that. The story's done. The video's done. It's over. The Thank bus you. will be here in about 15 minutes. Miss Faye, does everyone have their lunch? I think so. Where's your lunch, Emmy? Uh... Emmy? Quinn didn't give you anything to eat? No, but she's gonna drop it off soon. I think. Can you believe this? She didn't even bring poor Emmy lunch. Maybe she forgot. Oh, that's no excuse. Every parent here has made sure their child has something to eat. So irresponsible. I mean, on a field trip, they usually give you food. Not every parent has time to pack their child a lunch. My mom made me a lunch every single day. <laughs> oh, what a flex. So give her a bag of Fritos and an apple or something. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose. You confirmed with the school that Quinn is her legal guardian, right? Yes, but I swear that girl, that girl is not capable of being a legal guardian. I'm going to go speak to the principal once we're done with the field trip. Have you seen some of the <laughs> other parents, lunch? though? <laughs> Please tell me you got chicken nuggets. Oh, of course, fries and barbecue sauce, too, your favorite. Thanks, Quinn, you're the best. Yes, it is. Dang, she got the best lunch of them all. She really brought her chicken nuggies. That's what you bought her to eat? What? It is so unhealthy. She doesn't eat like this every day. Okay. Do you even feed her every day? <laughs> do you even feed her every day? I mean, do you see her wasting away? Deteriorating into little molecules because she hasn't fed her? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? Okay, Quinn. What do you cook for her? I don't think that's any of your business. Great way to dodge a question. I can't even believe you would suggest that I would starve Emmy. You know what? You don't fool me. I was 21 once. You probably didn't make her lunch because you were out partying all night. <laughs> Actually, I have a full-time job, 
and I'm a full-time student. So no, I wasn't partying. <laughs> well, when I was 21, I was getting wasted every night, going to parties, waking up on other people's couch. There is no way I could possibly take care of a child, so that means you can't take care of a child either. Tell you what, I will take care of Emmy today. I will buy her lunch so she doesn't have to eat that garbage. Why wouldn't she want to eat chicken nuggies? What about the other kids? What are they eating? You go and check everybody's lunch and make sure it's gluten-free, kosher, and organic. Can I see that? Uh, sure. Thanks. Can you get them ready, please? Sure. All right, kids, gather in. No, don't. Why would you do that? She you asked for away. that. I am going to go buy her some real food, like a responsible parent would do. What real food? What do you want a kid to eat? A salad? Have a good day, Quinn. But you can't do that. I said good day, Quinn. Oh man, I would have been so pissed. I would have pulled them right off the trash. Yeah, I'm eating them myself then. Like she came all the way here to deliver her lunch just for the teacher to throw it out. I'm gonna throw you in the trash. Let's see, what she eat at home? Some apple juice. Great, here you go. Oh, do you need any help with that? Yeah. And some Pringles? Or is that a candle? I'll go get that. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for Oh, she for called Ms. CPS on Myers. Her. Yep, that's me. I'm Julie. I'm a caseworker with CPS. Dang, she really did call CPS! Cause you packed her nuggets for lunch. Oh, it was the barbecue sauce. Child Protective Services? Um, are you, you sure you have the right house? You're Miss Quinn Myers, right? Yeah, I'm just confused why you're here. I'm just here for a brief home visit. Is it all right if I come in? No. Yeah, sorry, did, did someone call you or something? Or I just... I don't understand. Can't have strangers here. bringing their dirty feet complain. in my house. So I just need to do a routine inspection. Who complained? Unfortunately, we're not allowed to disclose that information. But what do you mean, who complained? The Karen who threw out your lunch? That cried about you being 20 minutes late? Hmm, I wonder who it was. I'm pretty sure I know who it was. Yeah, you can come on in. I was just helping her with her homework. Thank you. Ugh, they wear shoes in the house. Gross. I have to take her away just for that. Child Protective Services? Seriously? Excuse me. You cannot just barge in here like that. You can't just call CPS on me because you don't like what I feed my kid. It's not my fault that you're an unfit mother and you can't take care of Emmy. I am just looking out for her. Then you shouldn't be trying to take her away from someone that loves her. I am the only person who can take care of her. Look. A lot of children go through the system, and they turn out just fine. So she's just like, okay, let's take your child and throw her in foster care. She'll be all right. Why would you want to do that when you have somebody who's taking care of her and that loves her? Like, are you stupid? Emmy needs a responsible adult in her life. Well, what if she ends up with an unresponsible adult? Not a child who can't even pick her up on time. That happened one time. That's it, and I already told you what happened. Yeah, always an excuse. Just like you couldn't bring her a proper lunch. She eats fast food once a week because that's what she likes. And I'm so Quinn, you know what? If you're such a great mother, then you have nothing to worry about. Personally, I'd rather take CPS's word for it. You're unbelievable. Yeah, and I hope they do take her. She really wanted to walk back in there and just Do you have any idea what Emmy's been through or how I even became her legal guardian? No, I don't. Emmy and I grew up together living with our dad. Villain origin story. My mom passed away when I was little. Oh, so and Emmy's mom sister. abandoned her. Even though we both didn't have our moms, our dad showed us more love than we could ever ask for. So they're like sisters. He worked so hard to make sure we both had everything we oh. needed. Oh, hell no. I ain't never seen anything in a Darman video that upset me as much as this. You see the way she just like ran on the white couch? Where I am so triggered by this. No shoes in house. He never told us he was sick. By the time Emmy and I found out, it was too late. It turned out our dad had late stage cancer. He never told us because he didn't want us to worry. Ah, oh, that's the that's worst. That's how much he loved us. That's so sad. Like, I don't want you to worry, so you know what? I'm not gonna tell you at all. I'm terrified of somebody doing that to me. After he passed away, Emmy and I had no other family to go to. I was old enough to take care of myself. But since Emmy was under 18, she was taken away into the system. Losing her was just as hard as losing my father. After that, I did everything I could to get Emmy back. 
found out I could become her legal guardian, and I fought for months to make that happen. Despite my age, seeing how responsible I was, Give Emmy back! She deserves her! The judge decided to say yes. Nice. So you see, I'm all she has. Well, a new foster parent can be all she has. And you can go party and eat your barbecue chicken nuggies! Woo! I, I know we're still adjusting to the situation, but there is no one that she should be with besides me. Please, just don't take her away from me. I mean, if not for me, then... For Emmy's sake, I don't know how please. people are like actually this calm in real life. Look, I'd be so mad. If what you're saying is true, then I'm really sorry that you've been through that. I really am. But just because you want to take care of Emmy doesn't mean you're able to. Aww, so like I said, here I'll just we go wait again. Findings. What's CPS gonna do? Hmm. Are you feeding her apple juice? This has 32 grams of sugar. Only 4% juice. You gotta go. I deem you unfit. Hello, Mrs. Thompson. Yeah. Hi. How'd it go? I'm still conducting my investigation, but after when my investigation initial is inspection, there to conduct, bro. I feel like you're making it seem like you're working when you're not. Payment. Really? Yeah. I'm. Very impressed, especially considering her age. Yeah, exactly. But if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think her case will be closed pretty soon. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So they're not gonna put her into foster care? Yes. <laughs> Please, you do such a good job. I swear I can't do it at all. Was the teacher adopted or something? Did she grow up in foster care? Oh, coming one second. Why is she so angry about their situation? Hi. Ugh, now you wanna come Thompson. visit. Wanna see what I'm cooking? What are you doing here? I'm making pasta. I hope you don't mind me coming over like this. I got your address from the school. I came over because I wanted to tell you how sorry I am. Okay, good, because if you weren't here for an apology, I would ask you to leave. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Well, CPS concluded their investigation and everything that you said is true. Emmy really is lucky to have you. I just wanted to hear it from CPS. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming all the way out here. You really didn't have to do that. Oh. And also, I wanted to drop off this. Chicken nuggets, french fries, and barbecue sauce. Ma'am, did you dig that out of the trash? She been saving it in her bag for weeks. Enough for the both of you. Thank you. You know, I was cooking dinner, but I think Emmy's gonna eat this. I'll take this. Bro, you just dogged on her for half the episode about the chicken nuggets and the barbecue sauce, and now you giving it to them? I would not trust. And also, we're having a field trip next week. Oh, yeah, I can have you sign that. No. What I was going to ask you is, would you like to join us? It would be a lot more fun having you there. Especially because you're so great with the kids. Now you want to be friends? Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Great. So I'll see you soon. You guys have a good night. I feel like things never end like this. This is a fake ending. <laughs> I'd just be like looking at her like, Okay, what did you put in the chicken nuggets? You poisoned my barbecue sauce? Why you want me on the field trip? Take care of the kids so you don't have to? I am just a very suspicious and untrusting person. Just as I was raised to be. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.